Hello, we're going to do a quick unboxing of the very popular, very dynamic Godox AD200 Pocket Flash. I'm going to do this as quickly as I can, but I am going to be doing it one-handed. That's what she said. So we're going to um, just try to power through this quickly so you can get a sense of it. It is really popular, this thing. Um, it's $300. I got it from B&H Photo, so there's no shipping, no tax. I kind of pre-rigged this, so it's not a true unboxing, but whatever. It comes with its own lithium-ion battery, which is huge, because I hate wasting AA batteries every time I go on a shoot. So, uh, it does not come charged. So I already charged it, but it pops right in there. This nifty uh, speed light is kind of also like a headlamp, so it can be either. It comes with this head, but you can pop it off just by a quick, quick release button there, and swapping it with a naked bulb right here and you can attach any modifier you want in either mode. So this is, I believe, like a 200 watt um, bulb. So it's more like a studio lamp, a headlamp. And you just swap out the heads. And this is more like your traditional speed light. It's much beef, uh, it's sturdier and, and heavier um, than a regular speed light, but you can have it in either mode that way. It doesn't actually come with two, it comes just the one. But um, there you have it. So it comes with its own flash, uh, uh, sorry, battery recharger right there. So already you're being more environmentally friendly and uh, won't have to waste batteries as much. It comes with its own uh, bracket for a light stand. Here's a basic simple light stand. You will need your own pocket wizards or remote triggers. And I wouldn't recommend mounting it to your camera because uh, while you you probably need some sort of rig to do that. It, it is it is heavier than your traditional speed light. So, uh, also off-camera flashing uh, looks better. So, there's the bracket it comes with. You just slap it on there. And either do it this way, I should have actually done it the other way where I put the bracket on the speed light first, but whatever. Again, I'm doing this one-handed. There we go, lines up perfectly. And here's my umbrella. And it has this little slot right there for it. Pop that in. There you have it. Now, let's turn it on right there. Bing, it's on. It's got its own modeling lamp. Oh, that's the test flash. And here's the modeling lamp. So you can actually turn it on as a way to check your light source and where it's hitting your subject. Uh, we're at a quarter power. Uh, I preset that already. And there's our little subject. So I've already um, set this up just for the sake of speed. Hey Cooper, say cheese. Thanks. Look at me please. Oh. It would help if I plugged the um, speed light in uh, to the pocket wizard. That's always useful. And this is how we do it. Look what happens when we rush. Make sure that's in nice and tight. Pop, pop. I'm going to do a little subtractive lighting, so you don't want to point it directly at your subject. I want to use the uh, sort of reductive light. That's very good. Cooper! And there you have it. Perfect. Now to adjust it, it's uh, on auto mode right now. You just hit the button and, and dial it up and down. It's half power, full power. And it goes down every third stops. Just with a simple dial. It's really quick and easy. Uh, I haven't played with any other mode yet, but um, that was just a quick demo on how to use it. You've got your pocket wizard on your camera here, pocket wizard plugged in here. These are getting cheaper and cheaper. You can buy them in packs of two, I believe, for somewhere in the, starting at $100 for the older models. The newer models aren't um, any better, to be honest. They're, they're just a little fancier, but they all do the same thing. So if you don't want to spend like $100, because I think this retails for $100 for a single one. Uh, they are reliable, though. They are powerful. They're great. Um, pocket wizard, this is a plus three. You could just get the older ones, too, for less. Um, 
uh, doesn't have as many bells and whistles, it's just a dial, but it, it works just as well. These are way cheaper and you can buy them in packs of two. So there you have it. That is the very popular Godox 8200 Pocket Splash. I haven't um, tried it with the lamp, but I'm looking forward to. Uh, you might want to get some of the accessories that allow you to put on soft boxes. There's a big ring that you can um, fit it with so that you can actually put a proper light modifier up front, like grids and soft boxes and octo boxes and things like that. But for your basic shoot through umbrella or even just without the umbrella, it's a very powerful flash. It's quick, it's fast, and it's easy to use. It's a little heavier, but um, for $300, I think it's a steal. Cooper, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now eat your sandwich, please. No. That's naughty.